Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Sundays with Sally. This week, we are talking about Garmin's latest software. It's that time again. It is spring. It is time for 27.1. That is the latest software. I know just like, I don't know, three, four weeks ago, we were talking about version 26.1 and 26.2. Well, here we are, guys. We are into spring and uh, new software. So, if you haven't done it already, be sure to hit the like, subscribe, share button, comment, tell your friends about us, all that stuff you're supposed to do with social media. Um, great, that's out of the way. So, let's dig right into this, guys. Like I said, 27.1 just came out, I think, about a week, week and a half ago now. And that is our latest software rolling into spring. Some of the more notable features that are on version 27.1, it is now available to use the integration to your power pole. So if you guys are doing some of that flats fishing, you've got Garmin units, or you're into some of that shallow water and you are using the power pole, they do offer an integration with that to now be able to control your power pole from the toolbar on the top of your screen. Now, speaking of toolbar, we're going to pull up over here and look on the screen. You're going to see we've got our normal uh, you know, chart screen here, and you're going to see, like we've talked about before, we have the pop-up menu there where we can go to our home and we can scroll left and right for our presets like we had on 26. But you're going to notice if we look to the right there, you're going to see toolbars. And now if I click on toolbars, it's going to give me some options here on different things we can add. You'll see that autopilot, media, and compass all come up on there. So if I want to have my autopilot control on here, I simply click add. And now if I stop panning and center this back up, you'll see that across the top, we now have our autopilot control bar there. So this is a kind of a handy feature. So you maybe you don't want that taking up your screen space all the time. You can quickly have it on there. If you come back, you just say remove and now it's gone. And now if I want to put something else up there, like say my media bar, I can have that right there and tell it to add. And there we go. Now that's just that simple. It pops up and we can go back there just as easily and tell it to remove it. And now we're back and it's gone. So that's really handy. That's now across the bottom there for your toolbar. Um, what other things we're talking about that are on there? Um, there's going to be Merc integration on there as well. If you have your Mercury or your Yamaha tied in, that's also going to populate up on top of there. Speaking of the Merc, if you have the Merc dongle, like we talked about, I don't know, about a year ago this time, and you're able to network that into your Garmin MFD, they have now activated crew control is one of the other new features that are now enabled with version 27 software with that Merc part. So now you've got cruise control capability, being able to control your engine RPM. So they're slowly ticking off the boxes of things that are being enabled with the SmartCraft via your MFD. Uh, just look at my little cheat sheet here. What else do we have? Uh, on deck, lovely on deck. Uh, I think about what, two years ago now, we started installing those into the Garmin world. That's their boat monitoring system. It had the ability to turn on and off five things. From your side of things, when you saw it as an end user, it appeared as digital switching. You had switches on your MFD if you went to switching, and you would be able to turn things on and off directly from your phone remotely. Well, now we've gone one step further. They're now enabling N2K switching. That means third-party switching is now going to start being integrated into the on decks. So you're going to be able to turn on things if you have an Empire bus system, it sounds like we're going to be able to do that. We're going to be able to showcase that if that is the case here very soon when we wrap up a fairly large install down in Florida. Hopefully we'll be able to showcase all that stuff to you. Uh, what else do we got here? Um, interface, uh, you guys are our sailboaters and you have GNX displays. Those are the big large format displays. Maybe have them up in your masthead or on your cabin bulkhead. Now, after a couple software revs back, you were able to do sailing polars. Well, now we can take those polars and put those into the GNXs as well and really kind of start extrapolating that data. So if you're out in the race course and you want to make sure you are hitting target VMGs, you're going to be able to do that. So, got that. The last one, guys, I, oof, this, has been, this has been a hot topic in the office here. So um, they are going to be adding voice control. Uh, yeah, voice control coming up. What are you guys going to need to know about that? 
before we dig too deep into it, you are going to need a Garmin NEMA 0183 audio cable. It's an 11 pin cable. Some guys will call it the green cable. As you can see right here, it has green on it. But what you're really looking for, the RCA plugs right there. You need those RCA plugs out of here that come out of the back of the MFD and they're going to drop into the aux port on your Fusion Apollo stereo that is networked in. Now, why do I say it has to be networked in? Because the network has to trigger the stereo to change between whatever source it is to the audio source that you're putting in for those alerts. So let me show you guys real quick. If we go into options, we go into settings, we go to systems, we go sound and display. And now if we look here, it says voice control and audio setup. So we're gonna go to audio setup here. And you're going to see audio uh, alerts. If we click on alerts, you'll see we can do alerts, alarms, warnings, all of those things. We're going to say all alerts. And now here we go. Just like on your phone, you can go ahead and you can choose whatever language you want. They've got a whole bunch of languages plugged right into this thing. So we go ahead and we go, uh, let's go good day, mate, and do uh, Australian English. And now it's going to say, what is my alert device? In this case, the name of this stereo is Soulmate. So it, that is the device that it's going to. And then it's going to say alert source. And if I click on alert source, you're going to see it allows me aux one, aux two, and optical. So we've got multiple options there to send that signal. In our case, it's going into aux one. And then it'll ask us for our alert volume. We have volume up, volume down, and we can test. So very simply here, I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to go ahead and uh, just turn up the tunes a little bit for regular. If you're just cruising along on the boat, you've got your tunes on, as you can kind of hear here. We've got a little bit of music. This will absolutely cut right into it. As you'll hear here in a second, it'll cut. There we go it will cut in to your music. So it'll cut it out, it'll send an alert. In that case, it was just a simple test tone, but it'll send that alert through to get your attention. So that's a little bit better than one of those little P, uh, piezo beeper things behind the helm and you can't quite see what's going on. Um, they've also, if we back out of here, you're going to see voice control. And we're gonna turn voice control on and there we go. Voice control, voice control tones. That is moving forward, guys. We're going to have voice control. I'm going to start playing this a little bit more and showcase what's going on with that. And they've also promised coming in June's software update, Apple AirPods, they're going to be able to pair Bluetooth and you're going to be able to get your voice control through your AirPods, it sounds like. So we got that to look forward to, I guess, guys. So that's it. That is Garmin's version 27.1 marine software it is the release for what are we in now uh, spring of 22 so maybe you guys want to know more about it or let me hear your thoughts actually on this voice control and all of that do you really want that on your mfd do you really want your boat talking to you do you want to be able to say hey garmin you know take me here um or do you just want to have a little beep i don't know it seems to be a hot topic around the uh, shop here so leave it down below let us know what you think and uh that's it. As always, thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for giving us a follow. And if you haven't, hit it right down there somewhere. It tells you, you know, like, subscribe, share, all that fun stuff to stay in the loop with the latest marine tip, techs, and trends. Uh, next week, I think we're going to be talking about Navionics charting software and how that works with everybody else out there. So got that forward to look to and... Uh, what else we got? I think we got Ray Marine's Lighthouse 4 software as well. So stay tuned, guys. Peace.